Hello all, this is John from EastCoastArmory.com and I'm here today with a model showcase video for this 135th scale JG SDF Type 61 tank. Unlike my other smaller scale build videos in which those models either belong in my personal collection or are built for a private commission and belong to a private collector, the model that you see here is currently listed for sale on the EastCoastArmory.com website. The model can be found on the link listed below as well as in the video listing. This model here is a custom piece and is one of a kind. The model is being sold on a first come first serve basis and once this model is sold there will not be another one of this type to replace it. First a quick walk around the model. The model itself started out as a 135th scale plastic kit from Tamiya. The model was partially assembled back in 2009, however was set aside in order for me to attend to other builds. Recently I grabbed the model and brought it up to the completed state that you see here. As for the build itself, the model is built mostly out of the box, however it does feature several modifications and features which I'll be going over in this video. First a little background on the vehicle. The Type 61 was the first tank that was designed in Japan post World War II. The purpose of this vehicle was because after World War II the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force was issued M4 A3 H Shermans as well as Chaffees and I believe also Walker Bulldogs. The problem with the American vehicles was that the physique of the Japanese soldier and tank crew was a lot shorter than that of the Americans that the tanks were designed for. Because of that, tanks like the Sherman, the Japanese crews found very difficult to operate. Also, the larger American tanks also made them very heavy, which was not very suitable for the type of roads and conditions found in Japan. This vehicle was developed in the 1950s. Externally, it re resembles a lot of the M47 Patton with the long rear bustle. However, the vehicle is much lightly armored than that of the Patton. The vehicle, however, does feature the same 90mm gun, which is found on the M47 and M48s. The Type 61s were used by the JGSDF for many decades and were only recently retired back in the year 2000. The vehicle was only used by the Japanese self ground self-defense force and because of which was never used in any actual combat in a conflict or a war. Outside of Japan, namely in the United States, this vehicle is not really popular and there's not really a whole lot known about this vehicle. The most that Americans see of this vehicle is typically in Godzilla movies in which they're usually the ones getting stepped on and getting melted by Godzilla. Getting back to the model, first thing that we notice that the model has a very intricate and ornate camouflage pattern. The splinter pattern that we see here is actually a real camouflage pattern that was being experimented with the 
Japanese ground self-defense force. Back in the 1960s, the JGSDF, namely their tank school, was experimenting with several different type of camouflage patterns in order to help break up their vehicles. This pattern is being one of them. In addition to this paint pattern, there are about three or four other paint patterns that were similar in configuration as the one you see here. If anyone is interested in having a tank built to those specifications, you could contact me from the email address listed below, which is info at eastcoastarmory.com for pricing and availability information. To compare and contrast the difference between the paint pattern from the 60s, I have here another Type 61 from my personal collection. This vehicle here is painted as a tank that would have been in service in the 1990s. As you can see, since the earlier era vehicle, the Japanese upgraded their tanks with rear smoke dischargers on the bustle, as well as the canvas tarpaulin on top of the mantlet. The pattern is also much different from the 1960s experimental version. And this pattern that you see here is basically still used today on the Type 90 as well as the new Type 10. Like I mentioned before, this vehicle here belongs to my personal collection and is not for sale. Starting with the tank's main gun, if we notice this vehicle does not have the tarpaulin option added to it. The purpose for that is because all of the vehicles that I've seen with this camouflage pattern, the tarpaulin was not mounted to the tank. Because the tarpaulin is not added, the gun can go up and down. In addition of the gun being able to elevate in the press, and also with the turret able to rotate, the Type 61 was a lot like the American M48 and M60 series in which the Commander's Copula was actually that of a mini turret and can also rotate. This feature is also built into this model here. The little commander's copy can also rotate 360 degrees if necessary. In addition to the copula being able to rotate, the tank the commander's M2 HB heavy machine gun can also elevate in the press. In addition to the commander's copula, the tank also features a functional driver's hatch. The driver's hatch can open and be pivoted out of the way in order for a figure to be placed inside of the vehicle. This feature makes the vehicle perfect for, sh for diorama use or shelf display. Another feature that this model has is that of a functional travel lock. To operate the travel lock, the unit swings up and the hinge mechanism actually swings open. The gun can then be placed into the travel lock, like so, and can be displayed in the transport mode. Being a NATO spec vehicle, Type 61 also receives MP65 spring antenna bases. The antenna bases on the model have been thoroughly painted as they would be on the real vehicle, complete with rubberized antenna mount section as, and the ceramic insulator bottom portion. And that concludes this model showcase video for this 135th scale JGSDF Type 61 tank. If you like this video, stop by and like us on Facebook. And don't forget to check out eastcoastarmory.com for more 135th scale pre-built models, as well as 1.6 and 1.16 scale detail components and builds. Thank you.